Today we'll do morning prayer from Thursday of week three from the Earth Gospel by Sam Hamilton Poor, an excellent book, which I commend and uh, invite you to get a copy of if you haven't got one already. Um, so uh, we'll take a moment to center ourselves and then I'll begin. Morning, Sydney. Good morning. We're just getting started with morning prayer for Thursday of week three, which is on page 114. Thank you. Jesus said, I tell you solemnly, whatever you did to the least of these, you did to me. Here's a hymn for today from 1992 by Shirley Murray. It's called Touch the Earth Lightly. The scripture reading is taken from the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, verses 1 to 3 and 4a. O God of my ancestors and Lord of mercy, who have made all things by your word and by your wisdom have formed humankind to have dominion over the creatures you have made and rule the world in holiness and righteousness and pronounce judgment in uprightness of soul. Give me the wisdom that sits by your throne. And another voice from the 18th century, John Woolman. I was early convinced in my mind that true religion consisted in an inward life, wherein the heart doth love and reverence God the creator, and learn to exercise true justice and goodness, not only towards all men, but also towards the brute creatures that as the mind was moved on an inward principle to love God as an invisible, incomprehensible being, on the same principle, it was moved to love him in all his manifestations in the visible world. That as by his breath, the flame of life was kindled in all animal and sensitive creatures, to say we love God as unseen and at the same time exercise cruelty towards the least creature moving by his life or by life derived from him, was a contradiction in itself. So we'll take a couple of minutes of silence to reflect on these readings. As we move into a time of prayer, we remember all of those who've asked for our prayers and those that we know that need them. We pray especially for peace throughout the world, wherever there's fighting today, but especially in Ukraine, for the people of Ukraine and the people of Russia, that there could be peace there. 
Here's a prayer for today from the Christian Conference of Asia, 1991. Creator God, breathing your own life into being, you gave us the gift of life. You placed us on this earth with its minerals and waters, flowers and fruits, living creatures of grace and beauty. You gave us the care of the earth. Teach us, creator God of love, that the earth and all its fullness is yours, the world and all who dwell in it. Call us yet again to safeguard the gift of life. Amen. And the blessing for today. Safeguarded by the spirit, may you grow more just and compassionate in your relationship to the earth, other people, your own self and the God who is within and beyond the totality of life. Amen. Amen.